we're back with another Microsoft Teams tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you two ways you can recognize your employees in Microsoft Teams, the conventional way and the better way. If I'm going to send recognitions over Microsoft Teams, there are two ways I can go about this. I can either use the chat or the channels or tabs section. Let's go to channels or tabs. As you can see, I'm in the general all employees area. And let's click on posts. To send my recognition, I'm going to go to new conversation and click on the little light bulb icon, which is praise. So I can pick a custom badge. Let's pick the thank you badge and let's send this recognition to Adele. And here you can copy and paste your note. You can preview your recognition to see what it will look like. And then you can click send and send your recognition. And now our recognition is in the chat. I can see it. I can click here to see my praise history, the recognitions I've sent before. As you can see, I can see the sent and received recognitions that have been exchanged previously. That's about it for the classic version. So that was the conventional way I was talking about in the beginning of the video, and there's nothing wrong with that. But let me show you how you can take your employee recognition game to the next level with Team Flect. Now, let's do the very same thing in Team Flect and see just how much of a difference it will make. To do that, I'm going in Teams again, and I'm in the General section. I'm going into the new conversation, same as the last times, but I'm clicking on the Team Flect icon this time. If you don't have this icon, then you need to download Team Flect. You can do it by going to Apps and downloading Team Flect, and you can just pin it to the left side menu, and, and you'll be able to see this icon. Let's click on it, look at all these goodies. And I'm clicking on this new recognition section. And once it logs me in, I can simply pick who I'm sending the recognition to. Let's send it to Adele. And click on one of these badges that you can customize and make anything you want. So let's pick the great job badge. And let's put in our message and send the recognition. What it's going to do is it's going to turn this into a card. And right now it's in my chat box. We can see how it looks. And once I press enter, I can send it out. What you can do with Team Flex recognitions is that you can put them on a channel of their own, as you can see here. And all the recognitions you give out to everyone in the team will just be there. It's a great way to establish an employee recognition culture in your organization. It's a great tool for employee engagement and it keeps the spirits high. It creates a great synergy in your organization. So give it a try. Now, we can do the very same thing in the chat section as well. I can just pick someone in the chat and go to new conversation and just do the very same thing. Now, let me show you how you can use this to send recognitions during your meetings. Now, on my TeamFlect dashboard, you can see all my upcoming meetings. Let's click on this one-on-one -on -one meeting. Let's send the recognition out to Alex. And in my meeting page, you can see all the little places I can click, like tasks or feedback. Let's click recognition and I can just send the person I've selected a recognition. One of the biggest advantages TeamFlect has is that it is very customizable, right? If you're using Outlook, you can send your recognitions over Outlook. If you want to send your recognitions over your meetings, just send them over meetings. And what TeamFlect does is it can convert all your recognitions into data and let you make the most out of your recognitions. So let's check out the data side, shall we? And here I am in the admin center. Let's go to reports and click on recognitions. And let's see the amount of data we can reach here. And recognitions by data and badge type. 
below it, recognition, senders and receivers. So I can see the top senders and receivers. And this is my favorite part. You can see the words most used and the interaction between departments. And in the bottom section, you can see all the data regarding all the recognitions sent so far. And on the right hand side, you can filter this data however you want. And those are the reporting capabilities. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. We really hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And to schedule your free demo with Team Flect, you can just click on the link in the description below. This has been Emra with Team Flect. Have a great day. Team Flect. Build teams that deliver.